I worked at the same job for 26 years. I'm a proud veteran, a mother, a grandmother. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I wasn't supposed to be jobless, homeless, hopeless. Things got so bad that I thought, if I die, no one would care. How could this happen to me? Hoping that nobody would break in to my car with me out here at nighttime, eating out of the trash can. I got hungry. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any job. I went back out in the market and tried to look for a job, and I would take anything at that point. I, I just got to the point where I just didn't want to exist anymore. It took a lot of courage for me to make that first step, you know, and I needed the help. I needed some outside help. If it wasn't for a United Way funding Employment Connection, then I probably would have checked out, and I wouldn't be here today. Employment Connection got me a job with a temp agency, and within a month, Barnes Hospital hired me right away. So not only gave me a job, but it made me feel like I was somebody. I was beginning to be back to the person I needed to be. I have a job, I have a home, and actually, I'm studying now full-time in deaf communications because I'd like to help someone that goes to the doctor and they need to have someone sign for them. Being able to go back to school to do the things that I want to do this time as far as helping someone. Maybe there is a hungry family out there, you know, that needed some food. This is something I want to do just to see their faces and to know that they have food that they will be able to eat and not have to make the decision of medicine or going without food. I'm just happy that we're able to help other people, especially like Miss Henrietta. Hi, how you doing? It's a good thing because I'm happy inside that I can do something for somebody else to help them. I'm just one person that's trying to help. Because this is my gift, is giving back and help someone else. Girls can do anything they want. I want to make something of myself. I want to become a Supreme Court Justice. I would like to be a scientist someday. I can be the first female president. I can be anything I want. We, we are, are the Robotic Gyms. I like doing robots because I think we can actually help people with the creations that we make. It's different because girls don't usually do stuff like working with robots. The program is mainly to introduce girls into science, technology, engineering, and math. So when I go to college, it will help me to say, oh, I know about that. With this program, we have been afforded an opportunity introducing our kids to an area or careers that they never would have thought about. We were so happy that we had accomplished it. We was just like, we put all this work into it and it just did it, oh my God. They're a very smart group of girls and when they work together, they can get anything done. It made me proud because like that was my first time engineering and programming with the robot. I was proud of myself, and I was proud of the group, and I was proud of my whole school. It makes me feel like it helps something, or it's doing a great purpose. Because of United Way and the Girl Scouts of Southern Illinois, these girls are not just learning about Legos, they're learning they can be anything they want to be, and that the sky is the limit.
Three years ago, my mom had a stroke, and I thought my world had turned upside down. I remember that day vividly. My dad woke me up and told me he had to ride with my mom in the ambulance. We didn't think she'd make it. My dad and I became her caregivers. Then in December, my world did turn upside down. My father died of cancer. Now it's just me and my mom. I was running through my head that it was a dream, it couldn't have been real, and then my mom starts calling up to me and I ask her what's wrong, and then she says that my dad passed away. She just breaks down right there and starts crying, and just the whole world just stopped for that one instant. He was so young. I don't know why he died. It was tough, and I started thinking about what life would be like if he was still here, that I wish I could turn back the clock and still change the events of my future, and that I could still be with him, and I'm just wanting him there, and I usually cry myself to sleep after that. I just really didn't know what to do. Where am I gonna live? Can I still go to school, or do I have to drop out? How am I gonna take care of my mom? I had all these big dreams, and I just thought they all stopped with the day he died. About three days after my dad died, I moved in with another family, and my mom had to go to the DeBerg house. It's friendly atmosphere, so I just walk in, and she has this surprise expression on her face because she doesn't always expect me to come. I usually don't tell her that I'm coming. I like surprising her, and so being right next to my school is a great opportunity for me to see her every day. So that's all that matters, is that she's happy there. If it wasn't for United Way funding Cardinal Ritter Senior Services, I wouldn't be able to leave my mom here in St. Louis, where I grew up my entire life, and to go away to school and pursue my dreams. My parents raised me to believe that your dreams can come true as long as you pursue them and stick to them. I'm part of him. He is I have received and my heart into me. I was homeless and helpless. I made one call and that changed everything. Please keep helping. So others can pursue their dreams. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. Thank you. 